So we want to solve the differential equation y prime equals yx cubed with the initial condition y of 0 equals 4. So let's start out by writing this as dy dx equals yx cubed, just to make it look a little nicer. And now, hopefully, this is a separable differential equation, which means we can separate it so all the y's are on one side or all the x's are on the other. And here we can do that by dividing by y and multiplying up the dx. And so now we have separated the differential equation. Great, so now we can integrate both sides of the uh, equation. An integral on the left, integral of dy over y is the natural log of y. Integral on the right is 1 quarter x to the fourth uh, plus a constant. Now, you could say there's a constant on both sides, but they'd be different constants. You'd combine them, they would end up simplifying down to this anyway. So usually we only add a constant on one side. So now we want to solve this for y. So to get rid of that natural log, we can exponentiate both sides of the equation. On the left, the e to the ln y undoes the natural log, gives us y. And on the right, we've got e to the 1 quarter, oops, 1 quarter x to the fourth plus a constant. Now, this plus a constant is up in the exponent of the e, and it's kind of inconvenient for it to be there. And so we're going to employ some exponent rules here. So you might remember the rule that says uh, a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n. Uh, so we're going to employ that in reverse here and separate this into e to the 1 quarter, sorry, again, uh, 1 quarter x to the 4th times, so we're going the other direction here, times e to the c. Now, this is just a constant. e to a constant is a constant. And so this is just some new constant, which for the sake of clarity, I'll call c2. Uh, and so this expression simplifies down to c2. Uh, e to the 1 quarter x to the 4th. This is our general solution. Now we can come back and use our initial condition. So plugging in our initial condition, this tells me that y is 4 when x is 0. So y is 4 when x is 0. So I got e to the 0 is 1, so c2 is 4, which means my specific solution will be 4e to the 1 quarter x to the 4th.